know we want to talk about the open so far. So um so far we've gotten 24.1 done, 24.2 done. We got um a video of a dog eating a raw chicken chicken leg for the the clues don't the mean clue. anything. I, I gave up. Like I re- I when you I saw that, I'm like, that's impressive. Yeah, I, and I'm sitting there like this is stupid. Okay, I'm like I'm just gonna wait till Thursday. It's not worth yeah. it. Yeah. What's, I, a mu- what's the mushroom have to do with the first one? Three. Yeah. What's that? I feel like that one has made the most sense to me. I feel like it's, like it's just gonna like murder your legs, and then I don't know where the mushroom came from. Okay. And uh, the chess piece kind of ish makes sense, I guess. I mean. I would say it wasn't like only. You're really forcing this. I appreciate it though. <laughs> so do you, do you think the mushroom was like just the tip of the open? I don't think Dave's that slick. <laughs> oh, Sorry, no. I, I don't. I don't think <laughs> no. he got it like that. No, I think he literally just like started like writing like all those numbers down, and then just it just so happened to look like a mushroom that he saw earlier that day, and he's like. I'll just take a picture of that mushroom. I, I, like I honestly secret Pinterest page that he just saves photos to. That's probably. Right. I feel like that would have been a better clue for twenty four point two because people would have been tripping balls on that workout just on their dubs. That might have made more sense. Um, maybe, maybe. But you, you, you know, I was thinking. So I, I, I just literally thought about this like right before the podcast. So Dave, Dave Castro loves reading books loves reading books and so i'm thinking like maybe because I, I guess supposedly he schedules like all the books he's going to read within the year like ahead of time so because he gets like a big like big log of books and then he reads so i'm thinking maybe maybe the books that he's read so far are kind of intertwining with the clues that he's putting on instagram so you're telling me oprah is inspiring the crossfit open maybe i mean but dave dave Castro reads like he's he's even stated himself he reads a, book, a lot of books and so, so does Cat some could say voracious great word thanks <laughs> but I'm, I'm thinking maybe he read a couple books and like thought of like saw like a little clip and like thought of the numbers of what that what was happening in the book and then made the workout i don't know i don't know it felt very much like jim carrying the number 23 during the announcement that's what I was like. I'm like, this is just a touch way too. He's like, everything equals 23. It was like all this like numerology shit to me. I was like, this is too much, dude. Like, just just say the just say the workout. Yeah. Let's just let's just uh, let's he wrap just, it up. Yeah. <laughs> He's doing his best. He's big numbers guy. It, yeah, it makes sense to him, and that's all that matters to him. At the end of yeah. the day, like the workout just is a workout, and I was like, okay, these numbers go together. Cool. Thanks, yeah. man. Yeah. Yeah. So, that um, was, uh, go ahead. So, how was everyone's 23.1? 24.1. 24.1. Sorry. 24.1. Was pretty decent. <laughs> I bombed it. Absolutely bombed it. Well, it's not a tall person's workout. It is no. not a tall person. That is, you, I've never seen such workouts just be like so biased against you. I, I think Dave's you trying think, to get you into think the this top week was also biased. The only thing he had in leverage in is the row, and then he's having a deadlift farther than most people, and the double unders don't play into a tall person's strengths. I feel like double unders is good, short or tall. I don't know if there's like, I mean, I guess physics wise, more rope, more length, more time. Yeah. I mean, I mean, I'm but, pretty proficient in double unders, so that's. I mean, I practice a lot of that. Yeah, the first one was good. It's just like it's how hard do you want? How bad do you want to feel? Yeah, yeah. I I tried to I try the game the game the system a little bit because I was like, okay, right now I'll take like a 10 second break here, and then like I'll take a couple seconds break here, and then like and then after a while, like I finished it in like 12:35, and I was like, yeah, this was this was you the poor death. poor man. I was like, that was dumb. Like, I should have just kept on going, like, instead of taking breaks. Yeah. Stupid. That was not a workout to take breaks on. No, that yeah. was not the workout to kind of strategery yourself. Like, if you're going to strategize, it's like, just row a two-minute pace, and you'll probably be deep into nine rounds, if not ten. Yeah. Well, I mean, for the, for 20, 24.2, I made it to the eighth round, and I got to 
19 double unders for that. So, so nice. right now, so I'm, I'm happy with that score. So, yeah. um, but, but like right now, I think when I was looking at the CrossFit website, I'm in the 82nd percentile, I think. Yeah. So, so you're, you're basically yeah, yeah. proud of you. Yeah. Proud. Even though I bombed, even though I bombed the first workout. So, but I, for some reason I have to create another account on and CrossFit games app. So anyway, um, but yeah, so, I mean, I, I think, I mean, I did pretty good in the second one. First one, I was like, I knew, I knew I was not going to do good whatsoever. I mean, the dumbbell, dumbbell, you know, snatches, it's like, like a paperweight easy, but just the burpees going over, like hopping up and stuff. It was just no bueno. What a to do. So, Gosh. Yeah. Oh, well. But how did how did you guys do in both of those workouts? Um, yeah, I, I'm finding a little bit hard to get up for these workouts, knowing that the top 25 percent make it in to quarterfinals. Where I'm just like, yeah, let's do this, and then also like I'm still trying to like be 100 percent healthy. So like, it's not like there's a couple of little things I gotta kind of like maneuver or manage while i'm doing these workouts for the time being i'm just trying to be ready for quarterfinals um but the workouts are i don't know i i I mean that first one was gassy of course and the second one i just i i read it when i when i saw 24.2 announced i was like eh this is kind of whack like i don't know if i like this and i got into it i was like after i finished i was like that's actually a great workout for a lot of people to just find a way to keep moving it's a very it seemed to me like what crossfit is like you could see an affiliate class run that and it's beautiful you know yeah i i just felt like that was it was very it was it was kind of like going back to like crossfit roots and even the burpee dumbbell snatch another one one that you can run multiple people in a heat at the same time without it being absolute chaos um, which I love. Uh, I, I think that's, I think that might've been the goal for these workouts is to make it something that can be neat, play, uh, place a bow on it and just absolutely destroy everyone. Yeah. Pretty much anybody that can get off the street and do the, do these workouts. Oh yeah. Yeah. Pretty much. That's the gist of it. Mm-hmm. Except for double so- unders, make them scale to singles. If it's someone who's fresh off it, but yeah, I agree. God, you should you should you should have seen the Reddit the Reddit thread when about twenty four point two about the double unders. People were so pissed, so pissed. I'm going literally, on literally, probably, <laughs> literally. I just I just go on there just to check it out. So you know, I need to catch that up is, on something. That is the swamp of the internet, in my opinion. oh, I know Twitter, I know. Twitter. No, no, I'm no, throwing no, up no. X, I'm throwing up X's all day. <laughs> I, use, I use Reddit more and more as I age. I just never got into it that or tweeting tweeting. It's like, it's on, really hard. I'm not on either. Yeah. Oh no. I only check Reddit. Like if I need something like the fine, like run clubs in Charlottesville. Perfect. Like that's what, that's what I use it for. I don't, like I don't something go positive to actually be looking up. Yeah. <laughs> like, I feel like I use it for like, like, for, like for actual practical information. Yeah. And then I, yeah, I won't go on like conspiracy theories and such. No. Those don't exist. I wouldn't do that if I was you. Uh, But but how did you do in the twenty four point one and and two? Ah, twenty four point one went pretty good. I got yeah. That seems like a real like wheelhouse. Like there's well, there's not any skill. It's just like just do the work. Like those those are the workouts I typically do pretty well in. So I got top hundred in that, which I was very proud of. Um, the last year the open did not go like too hot for me. So I was glad that I could like knock one out of the park at least. And then, um, I, I think I actually, I did as good as I could do double unders. I mean, no pun intended tripped me up a little bit. Um, (laughs) I knew that was going to happen at some point in the workout, but it was one of those things where, yeah, I just rode, I tried to row like as slow as possible without it becoming like too much as a snail pace for, me, that was like a 159 to like 201. And I was being Justin for most of the workout until I I tripped 
on double unders and then he would intentionally break and then his row like he like got like a few more like he got off like sooner than me but um yeah can't can't really complain so I'm excited for this last week I would love to I don't even know where I'm placed right now it's I don't really care that much but doesn't really make a difference for you going team right like yeah no no um I mean I mean just and even if I like decide to like go in the individual like you know test the waters per se I mean obviously I'm in the top 25 percent but yeah. it's good like I'm I feel like I like I have like the open's always been like pr- like de- like pretty decent for me um once getting at the competitive level so it's cool like I feel like myself again, which is uh, quite needed. Good. Yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. That's awesome. Uh, Xander, how did you do? I'm getting my shit kicked in. <laughs> well, I mean, you just you just finished a marathon. I ran an ultra so. ultra marathon. Like, yeah, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I did like dumbbell lunging. So it was like dumbbell lunging, GHDs, and pull ups today, and then an two like back to back AMRAPs. And I couldn't, like, I was like, oh, my lower extremities are not okay. I'm doing the best I can and trying to care. Like I like my body is not like prepped for the open. If I'm just being very deliberate about this, it's like, I have, I have made mistakes in my life in my fitness journey. I, I have, think you didn't make mistakes. You've just uh, gone. I've chosen a path happy. that doesn't align with what I'm trying to do physically. <laughs> You're and mentally I'm telling acts. myself where I am. It's not even ha- No, it's not even happy trees. I'd rather happy kill myself. Sorry. Don't put that on YouTube. It's live now, baby. Too, too late. Too late. Too late. Yeah. Too late. yeah. <laughs> so but it's, are, are it's you, fun. But are you glad you did that ultra marathon? Oh, yeah. I'm happy I did that. That was probably like I'm much happier with that than I did with the Chicago marathon back in October. So mm. I'm happy I did it. Um, my mindset the whole time. It was hilarious. Like my strategy worked for me. I'm pretty sure I just like absolutely beat the doors off other people that I just hunted down. Didn't see guy pass me 12 miles later walked him down and then ran past him awesome his it was just the absolute like i could see it in his eyes he's like son of a bitch <laughs> and just like watch what like people gave up at the 26.2 mark which i thought was really sad well, like, like yeah, they, just, they just called it there yeah i was like what what are you doing like we have f- less than four miles left or less than five miles left like you'll be oh, okay. I was like, You're going even if i was walking yeah exactly like these people were walking and I and I just like was like, all right, the five of you are no longer at all worth it to me. See you later. Yeah. Like that was the crazy part. But I'm happy I did it. My body is just really just unwell. So you've been doing like ice baths or what like how do you doing it to try to recover no, from like all the leg stuff? Just honestly, walking, I've built myself back up to running for 20 minutes at a time. Mm-hmm. I know, just a mind boggling distance at a blazing 840 mate pace right now um but i'm trying like it's just getting the body to move like doing some like crossfit it's hard like doing high intensity right now is very hard Mm -hmm. so what's the i mean what's the difference between your recovery for this versus a marathon i mean it wasn't like too much more like it's not too much longer but i could tell you like physically like my body hasn't bounced back as fast Mm -hmm. Like I can tell my hip flexors, like my hip flexors and just like my IT bands just have not loosened up whatsoever. Uh, have you gotten body work done yet? Oh yeah. I've gotten two massages, f- like five Epsom salt baths and pliability and not doing a whole lot for me. Mm-hmm. So I could just see you like walking down the stairs, like Peter Griffin from family guy. Like, that was, if you ask my like, buddy, Sam, like Sam was making fun of me because I stayed with him in Fort Worth. He's like, you can't go upstairs, let alone down. I was like, it's not good right now, buddy. Just shut it down, please. Oh, man. Just just leave me in the recliner and just leave me alone. Now, I like, literally, I'll, I'll, literally I'll, posted I'll up six hours was what it took me for the ultra. Literally got on the couch. We were, I watched like two episodes of the new Drive to Survive season. Like the worst part is being done and just trying to drink water and you're just like, I want to eat food or like, you know, you need to eat food, but your body's not hungry. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. That, that was, so I did my first half marathon with, uh, down in Atlanta. It was the first time it was right during Thanksgiving too. So it was like the, it was the first time having Thanksgiving 
dinner with my in-laws. Uh, nice. So, hungry at all are you no 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 so, so it's even funnier so what happened was like my my sister-in-law um leah she decided to she wanted to do the half marathon so she's like tom would you do it with me and i was like yeah okay so each each one step of mine is two of hers she's like half the size of me so she's trying to keep my pace the whole time and then like i had to go to the bathroom and then then i lost her and so like i ran it i think i did it and i it was roughly like two hours and 15 minutes or something like that and like no training whatsoever so i get i i get back to the my my in-laws house it was like the patriots playing the lions i remember that it was like um during thanksgiving day i fell asleep the whole time until thanksgiving dinner was ready like i was i, I was so exhausted i just i felt so bad about and sarah's like hey thanks for talking to my family like <laughs> the, 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 for the whole day respectable, respectable. And I was like, I couldn't help it. I I could not stay. I could not stay awake. That's what happens. Yeah. So I was like, I was like, whatever. I mean, I can't do anything about it now. So it's too late. So and then she fell asleep in my lap too. So it's just the, like the tryptophan got everybody. Before yeah. Before the turkey. Yeah. Yeah. Before the turkey. Yeah. So, um, but anyway, so I do want to talk about twenty four point three. Um, I know you guys said or one. Uh, you guys said earlier there might be an A and B part. So I think there is. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. You said it, but um, what do, what do you guys think might be on the cards for that um specific workout or anything? I know, I know it's like uh, you know, rolling the dice or whatever, like throwing a hail mary up there. But you know, do what are you guys thoughts on some movements? I hope we squat. I'm th I'm think thinking. Go ahead. Oh no! I mean, I mean, that's like the one thing that's like we at least haven't done other than like gymnastics. So if we could squat and maybe like see a pull-up bar of some sort, that'd be pretty dope. I'm thinking. So do you think the, was it 17.3, the thrusters and chest bar pull-up workout? 20.3 or, or. Or whatever. No, so you're talking about 18.5. Oh, yeah, 18, that was. Yeah, that's it. 19.5. It's 19.5. Yeah. But no, because it's too much volume. It'll like I have a feeling it'll be an AMRAP with a lift at the end. I have a feeling it'll probably be like a snatch. I was thinking a squat snatch complex or something. Stop saying squat snatch. They don't exist. Oh, whatever. Dude. <laughs> snatch or power snatch, guy. <laughs> um, but no, I think it'll be like toes the bar and a pull up, maybe like some kind of ascending. Honestly, it would just be nice if it was the – what was the one where it was, like, just thruster, toe-to-bar, thruster, pull-up, thruster, chest-to-bar? Or a That was – Oh, that, that was, was like uh, similar to, like, whatever it was. Like, it'll yeah, maybe just cool. a – thru Honestly, oh, just wait, a thruster, pull-up, AMRAP. That'll really kick people in the teeth. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but that was with a heavier – an ascending weight for the heavier – for the thruster barbell, yeah. I think is what it but, was. Yeah, it was like 135 was like the last yeah. the last barbell, I think. Yeah, it was 95, 115, 135 with uh, pull-ups, chest bar. 21, 15, bar, 15, bar 21, 15 9, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 There was the one that – um like, I mean, it was similar where it went like front squat, toe-to-bar, thruster, front squat. It was like and a – like, and Yeah, that, that was – that, you had to do that clean complex after that too. I think that was just twenty teenager. point. That was yeah, twenty point three, twenty point four. The 15, 15 front squats, fifteen toes to bar, fifteen something, fifteen chest to bar, fifteen muscle ups, whatever. It was. Yeah. Th it was thirty of the gymnastics movement, but it was thirty. It was thirty. Oh. Because I had people at West Chase almost do like thirty bar muscle ups on Birkin. With the other oh, one. it was it was thirty. Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. That was wild. But here's the thing with that: like, even though like most of these workouts, like a, you know, your average Joe can walk into the gym and do it. But do you think they're gonna add implement like those type of gymnastic movements for like the third round at all? Like for the third third workout? No, that's why I'm thinking it'll be like toes to bar and pull ups. Yeah. Yeah, and then people are saying like on cap two this week. There's like I think there's a bunch of front squats Saturday. Uh, so I mean a heavy lift would make more sense than like having a bunch of reps. Yeah, 
I also almost feel like there might be wall walks. I don't know why. Not that the hint gave anything, but I feel like wall walks have been such a staple in the open recently that they might just want to do it again. There's no tape lines, though. Oh, you're right. It takes out, actually, a significant amount of movement. Yeah, it takes out shuttle, takes out handstand walk, takes out... Yeah, okay. Oh. Well, and it also takes out handstand push-ups, too, because they need a tape line for that. Dang it. And I, I've, been getting, I've been getting so good at wall walks. So good. Yeah, you posted your video today. You're moving smooth. I know. Hauling. So. But they could come out during quarterfinals. They're just waiting. Yeah. 